Right, video back on. We've got another view, down another pathway which you can come up. I think that's cleaved on it. I'm not sure actually where that is. I know it's not the hill for it. Could be. Not sure. Anyway, I've, I came back up this way. It's obviously a mountain biker's route that they're doing. I'm going up there in a minute. And I've just come up that way. And I've spent a bit of time in the wood taking photos, doing a video. Beautiful smell of spruce. Um, and they've done an awful lot of clearing here. Awful lot. But you see, those are the sort of trees that do get chops. Um, it is like a tree factory here, really. Um, and they're used for all sorts of making furniture. You know, they've got a value. Now there's the site of the Mendips there. Eh? The area of outstanding natural beauty is ahead. This bit's hardly recognizable to me now. They've cut so much down. It's like, wow. <laughs> you know, it's, it, like I said, it's almost unrecognisable. I can take photos at the same time here. Now the battery would go flat soon. <sighs> yeah, it's beautiful though. I mean, I, I'm really enjoying this. I've missed coming out here. I really have. I've obeyed the rules and not risked the... It's always going to be a risk. It's always been a risk going on a bus with people with snotty noses and that. And see death all over their hands. I think I'll always wear a mask on a bus from now on. I've wanted to for years, but you didn't want to look weird. <sighs> Do you know what I mean? But to be quite honest, they're a good idea to wear on public transport. At the moment, I mean, I was the only one upstairs and there was just one woman with her mask on downstairs on a double-decker bus and the driver. I hardly recognise this place. I really do. I'm almost lost. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all, I'm almost lost. I can't believe I've got here already. How strange. Yeah. Yeah, that word is so different. Look at these silver grey looking types. I hardly recognise where I am. It's, it's a very strange feeling, actually. I do know there's cows out. I can see them. I had to pass a big herd of beef cattle on one of my walks up here last year. God, I can't believe it. It almost doesn't even feel like the same place. It's, it's a very strange feeling, this. It's very strange. I, I wonder if I'm high enough up even. It looks a different place. enough up, you know, to tell the truth. No, I don't. That is not the gate, the same gate. Yeah, what it is, I've come round, I think I, um, quite often I take another route upwards. I did get distracted a bit. So what I'll do, I'm going to follow along here. It's okay, I don't mind doing this. I don't mind at all. I'm lower down than I thought I was, but it doesn't matter. 
Yeah, I don't want to go up on the top yet. I'll carry on here. Yeah, what it is, I need to get to the next gateway. I can see people all the time. I need to get to the next gateway. Now, this is normally what I call the shadier area. When it's baking hot, there's a, there is a root going up just over there. But it's very exposed. I often used to use this one to keep in the shade a bit. Right, I'm going to turn off. It's basically what I'm doing. I'm following this route along until I get to the next gate. That's when I come off. But I'm quite happy to do this. Quite happy. I did think I was higher up. I, I, I almost thought I'd, I was already at the gate. But um, I did get distracted a bit by those going into the wood and so I know where I am it's just that I thought I, I thought I was higher up right it's getting warm now I can't see any bluebells yet yeah definitely lower down definitely right Sheila turn off take pictures Right, it's a bit windy. I came up for a follow a path from right the way down there. Some more horses coming. And uh, there's wild ponies. They might not be wild, but... And behind me there's some horse riders coming. They're not through the gate yet. It's, I'm glad I've put my hat and scarf back on though. Um, we are exposed here, so it is a little bit more... A little bit more chilly, and I might come up, and might pick up on the camera. Yeah, it's quarter past, say 20 past two now. That's just right. It gives us just under three hours to get back. Don't forget, I was an hour behind. It was only half past ten. So in theory, it's coming up to sort of four hour mark. I thought we just had to do a little bit of videoing. like a person, doesn't it? It's a tree stump though. Very spooky. You wouldn't pick that up with the other camera shoot, that'd be too far. That's definitely not like a person though. Now behind me are the riding school. I don't want to get stuck behind them. Or in front of them. I can do some photos though. All right, oh, hold on a minute.
Right, this is the minted pearls. Now, a couple of years ago, there were loads of bluebells. I'm not sure whether they have got. They are there, the leaves, but I don't know if I'll ever see. I'd never seen it before either. It was like a purple haze here, but that was in May, so probably in a month they could all come out again. If the uh, horses are munching them now. Yeah, it's quite nippy now. Glad I got my hat on. I'm glad I got my lighter coat on though as well because um, I think it would have been alright with the big one. You, I would have got away with it because it's not baking hot today. But uh, nice to see all the ponies. We might bump into sh not sheep, um, cattle yet. Yeah, so we've got two, half past, yeah, half past four, it'd be nice to think I was over that way by half past four, so we, there's no panic whatsoever, we just cannot afford to miss the last bus, we cannot afford for it not to arrive. There we go, folks. There we go. I got a feeling we're on what's called the parade now. Where those horses have turned. That They're going to go down to the stables. I don't know how long it's going to take them to walk down there, but... Uh, I can't, I'm not rushing. They'll be quicker than me, I expect. Yeah, they'll be quicker than me. I'm just following on behind. I'm following on behind them. <laughs> Now when I, did a, when I do a big hike, I go right across the Mendips here, and, that, and I did Velvet Bottom, that was the last big walk I did, I did Velvet Bottom, I don't know if I did, no I didn't go near Rowbarrow, I don't think I've done Rowbarrow for a while, I can't really remember it without looking at the video. People everywhere. I'm turning off.